Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let's see about your 2D discrete wavelet transform based 7 state hidden Marco model for efficient face recognition. Now let's see about this abstract. In this paper, it provides the unique recognition of face by the use of HMM. HMM stands for hidden Marco model. It is a finite set of states, each of which is associated with a probability distribution. Transitions among the states are governed by a set of probabilities called a transition probabilities. Initially, we remove the noise from the original image, then we apply the gamma correction. Gamma correction is in the simplest cases defined by the following power law expression. It will enhance the color constancy in images. After that, we apply the dark filter. Different Difference of Gaussian is a future enhancement algorithm that involves the sub subtraction of one blurred version of an original image from another. List blurred version of the original image. In, in the simple case of grayscale images, the blurred images are obtained by convol convolving the original grayscale images with the Gaussian kernels having different standard der derivation. The, then we extract the features by the use of DWT. The extracted features will be classified by the use of HMM. This is the flow of our process. Here we have to given the input images. The input image will pass to the pre-processing step. In this stage we are removing the noise by the use of Gaussian filter. It is a linear class and windowed filter. Based after removing this noise it will go to the gamma correction gamma correction it will be used for removing the low contrast in the image gamma correction controls the overall brightness of an image images which are not properly corrected can look either bleached out or too dark after that we go to the dark filtering dark filter refers the difference of Gaussian DOG is a feature enhancement algorithm that involves a sub subtraction of one blurred version on of an original image from, from another. In the simple case of grayscale images, the blurred images are obtained by convolving the original grayscale images with the Gaussian kernels. So after applying the dark filter, it will go to the 2D DWD. Here, we will transform the one uh, spatial domain to frequency domain. Here we are getting the different subbands such as approximation, horizontal, vertical and diagonal informations are identified. For the identified information we are calculating the mean values. That mean values is taken as the features. The extracted features will go to the HMM. HMM is a statistical Markov model in which the system being modeled is assumed to be a Markov process with unobserved states a HMM can be considered the simplest dynamic Bayesian network hidden Markov models are especially known for their application in temporal pattern recognition such as speech uh, handwriting gesture like recognition likewise it is used for the HMM recognition we also provide the database features with the testing features it recognize the person and finally it will be provide the result whether the person is authenticated or not now let's see the demo of our process. Here I am having phase mine.m file. Select this file, right click and run the file. So this is our design. So initially we have to train our data set. So that here I am having train data. Select this folder. The features will be calculated for the each category images. For that the identified features are loaded here. After that it will go we are going to identify the testing features here I am having set up person this is the selected person displayed in the first axis after that it will go to the pre-processing initially we are applying the filter it will remove the noise from the input image after that it will go to the gamma correction here the brightness is adjusted here after adjusting the brightness by the use of gamma correction it will go to the dark filtering here we are using the difference of Gaussian it will convolving the images after convolving this we are going to the 
feature extraction for extracting feature here we are using the DWT this is the DWT result this is the approximation on horizontal vertical diagonal informations are calculated for the for this values we are identifying the mean values that that is taken as the features these are the features this feature values will go to the Hatsumam recognition it will identify the persons now I am showing the result of face recognition with the help of Hachamam. Thank you.